<laughs> Welcome back to another video. We're out here on Staten Island Airfield. There is a very low flying jumbo jet up there. I assume it's just leaving Newark in a kind of peculiar flight path, but either way, let's get into today's video. Uh, this is basically in lieu of your normal, or my normal uh, flight or kind of short form videos that I post up on Wednesday. It's a quick update talking about a few of the products that I've mentioned before and kind of slight updates to kind of the review, but kind of just how I overall feel about the products themselves. Uh, starting out with the iFlight backpack. The iFlight backpack, still wonderful, still holding up one beautifully, durable as it was uh, when I posted that original review. That said, I have now taken it on a flight and I want to report that it does not fit under the under seat. Like you can't stick it under the seat in front of you. So if you're taking that onto a plane, oh, that's bizarre. Okay, that's really weird. That's the first time I've seen... That's really... Okay, so something weird's going on. That plane and the one that took off before are going kind of a bizarre pattern. That one right there also looks like it's coming out of Newark. It does seem normal. Not sure if there's something going on, but if there is weird time capsule in this video, uh, I may just cut it all out, but we'll see. Uh, either way, let me get back to it. If you're flying on a jet like that, uh, the iFlight backpack doesn't sit in the front seat, seat in front of you. So if you're taking that on as your personal item, know that you are gonna have to put it in that overhead compartment. Not a big deal for a lot of people, but if you are intending to put it under the seat, even if you don't have drones on the back of it, it really is an overhead compartment type of bag. It's not gonna fit in the seat in front of you. So just something to consider if you're taking that on a plane, um, th that's the situation. It may not be the case with every plane. There may be some places you can uh, jam it under the seat in front of you, but at least for uh, JetBlue, uh, from New York to Aruba, that plane did not work. And I believe it was a Boeing 737. Next quick update, in the video where I talked about the DJI system, I mentioned that the um, antennas that I use were the Lumineer Axie HD stubbies. I have since switched over to the uh, True RC stubby antennas, which are a little boxier shape, and I actually like them a little better. It may be placebo, but I do feel like my video range has gotten a little better since adding them to the goggle. Uh, you can see on here that True RC stubby. I think it's a little better performing uh, antenna overall. Again, it may be placebo. This one's less of an update, more as an additional piece. Uh, this is something that I've started using more for cleaning my drones. Uh, it's WD-40's contact cleaner, and it's a really handy thing for in my kit. Uh, whether I'm cleaning my RC cars or cleaning my drones, uh, just getting gook and gunk out of it. It's a nice little electronic safe cleaner. Uh, it doesn't leave any residue behind. It doesn't seem to have any effect on the carbon fiber of my frames. Uh, so overall, great little cleaner. Throw that in a little toothbrush in my toolkit, and that is something that I find invaluable now. Just wanted to throw that in there as a little bonus item. Thank you all for joining me in this video. As always, links to the stuff that I've talked about in this video are down below. They're Amazon affiliate links. If you use them, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just gives me a small kickback, which I then put into this channel to help me do things, create things, build things, and all that for you to enjoy. As every YouTuber says, thank you for joining me today. Please subscribe to this channel so you're updated and notified when new videos launch like this video if you want. I really, really appreciate it. And leave down in the comments what your thoughts are. Have you had issues with the exposure in the DJI action? Have you flown on a plane and managed to fit the iFlight bag under a seat? I would love to know. And as always, see you in the next video. Bye.